All right, everyone, welcome back. Here we are. We are set for our suborganist and organ scholar debate. There seems to be a big uh, conundrum between these two gentlemen that they can't seem to get their act together. So we've got a couple of questions, and I've got Betty here again. Um, she's going to help out, investment coordinator, and she's been very gracious to help. So today, so we're going to start right off. We've got the debate system set up here. We've got, just like there would be, uh, we've got Bruce, and we've got Julian. Julian's falling asleep. Uh, we should have done this earlier. I don't even know why I'm here. <gasps> uh, sir, we're going to ask some questions and find that out. All Junior, right? why is he here? I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to start, okay? I'm going to ask the, the first question. We're going to start uh, with Julian first to give the first answer, and then we're going to have Bruce give the answer. Uh, Julian, in the event of an emergency, who should be trusted more? Someone who can play box, toccata, and fugue in D minor from memory, or someone who can sight read it perfectly? It's from someone from it has to be from memory. I'll have you know because the, the organist has to be very cognitively smart and know what he's doing. And to be able, I I play the box uh, Prelude and Fugue in D D minor. Made uh, the playing play, Prelude and Whoa. Fugue in D minor has to be done from memory. The, the cognitive ability of the organist to run the show is the most important. All right, Mr. Taylor. Ever since I've come to this church, the pews have been full. Bums in the pews. That's what it's all about, church. Okay, so I guess we, he doesn't really want to answer the Takata and Fugue question. It seems like he doesn't want to choose either of those right, answers. Um, we're going to have Betty ask the second question. We're going to ask Bruce this time. Bruce, you'll get the first chance to respond to this next question. If you had to choose between playing a piece on an out-of-tune organ, or having the bellows operated by a hyperactive squirrel, which would you pick, and why? The squirrel. You ever heard him play? All what? he knows is Vidor. He plays it over and over, all these notes. He, he, he doesn't have sheet music. The, the point that matters is that the music is being played. The organ can be out of tune, and there can be problems. Just it's... like me, I might be a little bit old and have problems sometimes, but if the piece is played correctly with a few out of tune notes. It sounds a like a squirrel. Hyper hyperventilating squirrel, then I think I am the best Who candidate for Who fills the church? Ability. Who fills the church ever since I arrived? Father Ian loves me. No, he, he does not. He loves me. You aren't even a Catholic. Why do you have to be a Catholic? I fill the church. Um, we're going we're to fact check some of Bruce's uh, information there. Indeed. Uh, um, I'm uncertain about the timing of that. So just as a fact check, um, Bruce, Bruce only plays Adagio by Barber and Albinoni um, sad Adagio music. But uh, anyhow, so Julian does play Vidor, but he also does play a number of other things. So a uh, little fact check in there. But thank you both for that answer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move on to the next question here. As an organist, how do you handle the existential crisis of having 30 fingers and only 10 hands? 30 fingers and only 10 Mr. hands. Mr. Mason. Uh, is, 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 can, you, can, you, can you repeat the question, please? As an organist, how do you handle the existential crisis of having 30 fingers and only 10 hands? Uh, it's done with just strong, strong playing ability. You just have to know what you're doing when you're playing at the right time and for someone such as myself who has been playing for so long it is it is an easy thing to manage what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard at no point in your rambling incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Mr. Taylor. You're born with it. You either have it or you don't. He has to learn it. He just admitted it. I'm born with it. You ask him even. Let me ask a question. What is tenuto? OK, sir, this, we're, we're the ones this, asking this, the questions this is here. too far. We're, we're the ones asking the questions here right now. You, if you could just like, respond to the questions, uh, OK. And um, tenuto, tenuto is just a. Uh, it's, a, it's an Italian dish that people it's make. It's extremely okay, so we don't important to, to play the symphony number no. seven by Beethoven. I, I know, but it, it's it's also a nice Italian dish that Julian's mom makes sometimes. So really? Yeah, oh, so. the, 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 the heritage that oh. was built in this country. I'm gonna, 
strong we're, Italians. We're going to let Betty ask the next All question. All right, gentlemen, we don't want to have to turn off your microphones. Yes. This is going to Mr. Taylor first, this question, oh, number God. four. Okay. I believe, yeah. Do you believe an organist's bench should come with a seatbelt for those particularly wild toccatas? I believe in God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. That's, 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 a, that's a little right, evasive, yeah. but that's okay. Uh, it's still sure, a good direct sure, answer. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mason, I think we need it to be strapped in when you are going, when you're playing, you know, with both hands and you're going through a large, long pedal passage. You need to be strapped in. You need to be prepared in a seat belt, especially as we consider the elderly of our nation, especially for them as the organists are. We need to make sure that they are um, strapped in, and there's always a seat. Seat belt for them to, to strap themselves into. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, th thank you very much for that. Um, what are your thoughts, Mr. Taylor, incorporating pyrotechnics into organ performances to attract a younger audience? I'm all for it. That's what I do. I improvise all the time. I played the other night, the church was full. It was all improvisation, pyrotechnics, everything. We got to move with the times. This man stopped lost in the classics. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. He's Junior, by the way. His name is Junior. I mean, it's hard to disagree with that. I, yeah. I'm a little uncertain about the pyrotechnics in the church. Well, we have the incense. That's the pyrotechnics. There you go. There you go. We've got some candles, altar candles there. So there's our pyrotechnics. We've already we started. All right, um, uh, Betty, I'll let you, uh, number, number six there. Did, did Julian answer that question? Well, I, I don't, like, he's been kind of, I'm not sure. Do you, you have an answer sure, to that at all? Not sure. No. Sure. Julian, about pyrotechnics? So, the, the, the pyrotechnics, the, py, the, the oh. pyrotechnics, uh, yes, a great thing for the cathedral, lots of smoke, fireworks everywhere. The youth vote is very important to the, uh, the organ's uh, future going forward. Pyrotechnics will bring the youth vote. I, I, I agree. And we especially love it when the firemen come. Thank you. She likes their calendar. He agrees with me. Okay, Mr. Mason, how many stops is too many stops when trying to impress a congregation? Never, never too many stops. Full organ the whole time, that's, that's all that's needed. Mr. Taylor, same question. How old is he? 12. About 12. Look, I don't even know if his legs reach the pedals. How old am I? 89. 58. Four times this man's age. Do you want experience or do you want junior? Hmm. That, I, I, you noticed that the math wasn't quite right there, right? Eh? No, we do math later, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. carry on. Wow, okay. We're learning a lot of things today that we... Yeah, I just thought those numbers needed a little fact-checking. All right, we're going to go Mr. Taylor for this one. If you could duel any famous composer in a musical showdown, who would it be, and what piece would you play to secure victory? Felix Hell playing Barber's Adagio for Strings. It's that Barber song again. And yeah, I noticed that too. everyone knows that no one, no one in the world plays it as well as me. I would like to object. This man is a red, he is a felon for the amount of times that he plays Barber. He's been arrested and it is just so overplayed and overdone that he's been convicted in court as a result. And I believe that my strong cog, that my the strong cognitive ability would, I would be able to match up against Buxta, Buxta, Buck, Buck, what? Bucks Bucks to Huda. Bucks to Huda. Thank, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Um, I would match against Bucks to Huda and a great uh, ability of playing a fast and quickly um, moving a toccata. That's defamation. Hmm. Um, it might be bordering a little bit on that, but uh, uh, Bucks to Huda is an interesting choice where it's recitatives and scales. But. I was thinking a little devil went down to Georgia. Oh, now there's what would no, bring in the bums. Mm. Yeah. But, 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 but see, Bucks to Huda, that's a safe answer, right? Because everybody learns 
Buck Stahuda first, kind of. Yeah, there. So, but, uh, Thank you. All right, um, we're going on to um, number eight. All right. In a world where organs had to be powered by renewable energy, what piece would generate the most electricity? Mr. Dick. I will take this one first. The renewable energy is the pillar of our nation. We need to stop the, the coal-burning, uh, fossil fuel-loving candidate of Mr. Taylor and ensure the organs are made with fully 100% renewable electricity. Says the man who just drove in in a piece of Volkswagen tin. I'll have you know, when the, the, I, I, was the, I was very against the uh, emissions scandal and my government was standing strong with the e EPA and uh, we, were, we were the first to condemn Volkswagen for this absolutely slanderous remarks by Mr. Taylor. Oh. What was the question? <laughs> In a world where organs had to be powered by renewable energy, right. which piece would generate the most electricity? This piece. Okay, that's just a stop list for your concert. No, no, this is all I need. You see him play, he's got sheet music all over the organ. I, I On top of the organ. I am a strong, I still have the okay, ability Mr. Mason, to play Okay, Mr. Mason, you gotta let Mr. Taylor. I will not, uh, okay. look at this. I will not lose my place playing from the mem, 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 memory. Can you play this? Yeah, I've, yes, it's very, very, very doable. Very, very it's, doable. It's, it's a stop list. It's very for, doable. It's, your it's piston all list. I needed to play for an hour and a half. One sheet of music. Can you believe him? He won't even give me the, the space. Well, it, uh, time just, of day. just to be defensive, it was a bit of a meandering chord fest the other night. Mm. It was just seemed to be chords that didn't seem to go anywhere. But anyhow, it's uh, improvised. Well, yeah, the, yeah. So it, we really can't because it's improvised. It's his own creation. So it, we really can't trust. Right? Hard see, to argue whether is, or not um, it's done well. Okay. Um, do you, what do you think about the windmills, Mr. Taylor, uh, for renewable energy? This is the Adagio by Albinoni. I can uh, play it course, backwards. He always comes back to this. I it's can play it backwards. This is page eight, answer, page seven, the same page six. six. That's, not even, that's not even the same piece. You're just yes, lying. Yes, it is. You're it's eight lying. pages long. You never have played a piece You're that long. Lying. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I play it backwards. Ask him if he can play backwards. Okay, but my question was about the windmills. The, the, that was just, my answer. He just won't admit oh, okay. to um, defending renewable energy for the organ. Seems unrelated to windmills. I, know, but I think we have a bit of a problem here, but mm. uh, that's mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, we're, we're down to our last couple questions here. Is it, uh, would you rather have a year's supply of free organ maintenance or a personal assistant to turn pages during performances, Mr. D uh, Mr. Mason? Well, you see, this question isn't even important. The question that we have to be asking is playing, is playing the organ at full organ during the service at all times too loud? I think no, it always has to be done. You have to reassert your position as the organist. So the question of the, your supply for your organ maintenance or the page turning is irrelevant. And the answer is always full organ. Six and a half hours later, they did have the teaching aspect in common because she's a teacher and he yes. used to be a teacher. Ah, uh, there you so go. They, they right. did have quite common, common history. It was it was a nice conversation about you know teaching nowadays as compared to seventy years ago when Bruce was a teacher. Right. So, How many years ago? Seventy. Uh, uh, maybe just ten. Oh oh. Okay. Seventy. All right. Um, Last number, question number, for number, me. Number nine for you there is not uh, yours. Okay. Yeah. Is it true? that the size of an organist's shoes directly correlates with their ability to play intricate pedal passages. Mr. Taylor, if you could take this first. No. You can have any size of foot. I started out when I was only six years old. Mm -hmm. I just had a small foot and I just flew across the pedals. Now, my son's feet are size 16. Do you see that being a problem at all? Well, I don't know about 16, but I I think once you're up into like 16, 18, 20, 22, if you're some kind of basketball player, then I wouldn't take up the organ. But I just want to remind people that it's not the size of your foot, it's who the organist is, and I'm the one that brings the people to the church. The church is full. People ask me when I'm going to play. 
they fly in now. They're flying in, they meet me at the door, they, they ask me, am I playing today? Or is it just Joe? Mr. Mason? Sir, Mr. Mason. Uh, it's the small, it's larger, it's the small, the smaller shoes is the, the clearly the way to go. Large, large shoes is the best uh, way to play the organ. You can hit the notes a lot uh, greater with larger shoes. So my final answer would be the sm small, large, small, smaller, smaller shoes are the best choice. Mr. Mason seems a little confused. It, it may have passed us in nap time, but mm -hmm. I, I have yeah. one final question that you both seem to quabble about all the time about who gets the most applause, either Julian or Bruce. It is me, oh, with, oh, oh. without a doubt. This man is, comes in un unqualified and saying he gets these applauses, absolutely scandalous remarks by my opponent to claim that he gets more applause than myself. You can fact check it with that lady who goes around with that clicker. I've seen her. She is way up to 2,000 people sometimes. He, when he plays the V-Door, is there anybody left in the church by the time he finishes the V-Door? That's true, there's not. Ah, thank you. I yeah, I have to, but I will do a fact check uh, uh, here. We're going to fact break away. In fact, Julian does get more applause because he plays the post leads and Bruce does all the prelude music mostly, so. Um, well, they're not supposed to clap then. No, it's. They can just think about it and they're clapping, yes. right? I can tell they're thinking about I've it. I've clearly won this. This question is clearly over. I've clearly won this question. What question? What was the question? Yeah, what, uh, this, this is a question about the, 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 the uh, largest, the, the organ. Oh, the, the shoes. Stops the, the organ. No, the, it was about the applause, The, 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 applause, mm -hmm. the organ, the, the oh. applause for the, the piano con, 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 concerto. Yeah. Lost, we moved yeah. on without them. Um, well, uh, it, it's going to be a tight race to see it, who's going to succeed me maybe someday. I don't know. Um, but, uh, gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. And I'd like to thank Betty for uh, pitching in again to help as a moderator for this. Um, I'm not sure we learned anything at all. I, I'm not either. And I would like two weeks' notice, please, when you're uh, handing the reins over to either of them so I can leave town. Yeah. Whoa! All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you and good luck uh, when it comes time. To, to fill my shoes here <laughs> uh, but in the meantime I'll keep you both on hand separately uh, not together because clearly this doesn't work as a together thing so uh, but you're both very good in your own separate way so uh, thank you very much for that and uh, thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon